All right, guys, welcome back. Back with another one. Uh, this is the grill off of the CL55, and I think I mentioned in one of the videos that I am going to paint this uh, black. Now, I'm not gonna paint this chrome piece, the center piece, just these parts. Now, this obviously sits just like that. And these things I already took off. These are the end pieces that would go along these, these parts right here. So it would go just like that. I just took these off. I don't even want to keep these. So, and they were kind of getting a little uh, chipped and everything. So just wanted to uh, get rid of these. So these came off. The center piece actually comes out just like that. So if you flip this that way, these three little clips here, right there, there's three. You guys can see those. They're these plastic clips all around, and they just hold this. All you have to do, is just nothing like uh, with this. Don't touch these. Just these little places right here it just snaps in place so I just took this off I want to see what this thing looks like without this so we're gonna put this aside for now so all we're doing is just painting this thing just like that and I mean I didn't care much about this one uh, I thought I was going to upgrade with a with a different type like a mesh one or something but I wanted to paint this black and see what it looks like maybe it'll look better so we'll see uh, how this thing comes out now the process, uh, since it is a trim piece, it's plastic, uh, these things you, know, you really don't need to uh, scuff them up when you're painting them. You do have to use this uh, plastic adhesive promoter, which before uh, painting a trim, chrome, or anything plastic on a vehicle, uh, you do three coats of this, and then you go ahead and use the uh, the paint so it almost you know uh, works as a uh, primer in a way and also gets the uh, the smooth uh, uh, surface there makes it nice and uh, scuffy in a way I guess and sticky for the paint to stick on so we're gonna go ahead and use that first and then uh, do a couple of coats of paint and see how this uh, comes out now the process of this as it uh, directs in the back it says uh, you shake this thing for exactly a minute and then after that you put a, a nice light coat and let it sit for three minutes and then do a second coat and let it sit for three minutes and then you do a third coat final coat and then you let it sit for three minutes so uh, under 10 minutes those three coat needs to be done and then after the 10 minute we start the paint so we spray paint it with the black so first thing we're gonna shake this and I already uh, cleaned this up but you might want to get like a wet towel or wet rag and just kind of take off all the uh, the dirt and whatever that's on the uh, surface that needs to be painted so let that dry up a little bit and we'll try this out and see uh, how it comes out
this thing overnight after a couple of uh, coats, two light coats, and I think I did a third coat of a little uh, cover-up coat, I guess you could say. And I think it came out pretty good. I mean, it's nice and dry. Uh, there was a little bit of bubbling up top here, and I think I, I kind of uh, did a little too much of the uh, adhesive, uh, uh, the promoter spray. So uh, we'll uh, we'll mount this thing up and see uh, what it looks like. Uh, it should take a couple of seconds just putting this back up, but yeah, we'll see how the paint looks against the uh, the uh, body paint on that. So let's go ahead and. Uh, mount these up and with these things it's just uh, three screws and they go on the bottom I'll show you guys how it sits and these tabs just hook up up top one of these tabs are broken but it really doesn't matter I'm just testing this thing out anyway so let's go ahead and mount this thing up oh, and before I forget I do want to snap this thing back in place and try it with this. See what it looks like. So, this should go right. Just like that. So, we'll see what it looks like. If I don't like the chrome, I'm just going to take the thing off and paint this thing to match this all black. So, now let's go and put this thing on. guys there you have it from grill painted and I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna think about the uh, Mercedes sign I kind of like it chrome for now kind of matches the wheels so yeah I'm gonna keep it on let me know what you guys think if I should uh, black out the uh, Mercedes sign or just keep it chrome but there you go I think it looks nice a little different so that was a quick way of uh, painting the uh, Mercedes grill and taking those other cramp, uh, chrome pieces off so they look pretty crappy to me so, alright one more thing Upgraded, I guess you could say upgraded in, uh, in my uh, budget Mercedes. So, I guess we'll, we'll see you guys in the next one.